Okay, welcome to another episode of Defeationist. But this time we're not doing a regular episode. We're doing exactly what I said we're gonna do. We're gonna do a list. I know you saw the tip of continue. The tip of continue features Assassin's Creed Red. But let's talk about some things that we don't need. This is the top five things we don't need in Assassin's Creed Red. Because if we get any of these things, this is what is going to happen to Ubisoft when we're done with it. So please enjoy this footage from Ghost of Tsushima and possibly Sekiro in the background as I add these up. Thank you. Number one, the map does not need to be that big. If the map is as big as Odyssey or Valhalla was, then you guys have missed the point of a game to make it concise and good. Genuinely, I don't need a map about the size of all of Japan to play on because that would make the game uninteresting. Please, I don't need to take a five year boat ride to get to the next location because Odyssey and Valhalla was way too big for what it was. Possibly Origins is a little too big, but I don't remember that game too much because I didn't like that game at all. But I can genuinely say, without a shadow of a doubt, I don't need to travel throughout Japan. Just literally, please, make that game as compact as you can. Again, Ghost of Tsushima's map is not that big. It's actually, you know, pretty big or fairly big enough that you can run across it and take a while, but at least it's more entertaining to run across that world than it is the full fucking Japan. Number two, arguably easier to fix than all the other ones, but seriously, all you have to do is just not clear the map with nonsense. I don't need to do a million and one missions to complete this game. I just want to complete the game by doing 30, 40 missions of anything. I really, really do not want a million side quests like they did in Assassin's Creed Unity. A game, that map is too cluttered and it's too frustrating to figure out what you have to do just to figure out, hey, I can get this or get that. And to the point where you collect so many missions. Please just make the missions simple. Let's make the missions meaningful. And let's not have a bunch of unnecessary missions if we're gonna continue on this goddamn path. Number three is also simple and is an easy fix. All you have to do is just stick to the basics. I don't need anything overly complicated like Assassin's Creed Valhalla or Origins add. Just stick to the damn basics. I just want to assassinate somebody, point me to the person I gotta assassinate and let me do that job. I don't care if I have to go through a little bit of stuff, but like Jesus Christ, I just want to assassinate people. And for the love of God, let's not make an order of people that I have to assassinate or I have to find them and to assassinate the people. It, it's just it's just nonsense. You did that three games in a row and you expected people not to notice that shit. You even added the DLC versions of that in Valhalla so kill the order of the people then kill another set of order of people stop doing that don't do that again stop it nobody wants to do that shit it's just tedious work and then with the RPG elements it just makes it more annoying Please, for the love of God, can I use multiple weapons that actually make sense for the time period? Or like how they did with Assassin's Creed 2 or, or 3, or you can just pick up the enemy's weapon and use it against them. I just want to use another battle axe again. Does anybody remember when you picked up a battle axe and was able to just wield that wieldy thing against an enemy? Please let me go back to that time. I don't really feel like having uh, freaking numbers on my weapons just to see what happens. I don't want this anymore. Jesus. For the love of God, and this is the fifth and final thing that I would like done in Assassin's Creed Red. No RPG elements. That's the part of this game, or that's the part of the last couple games that actually has been annoying, and it's pretty much just the worst part about the games in general. Syndicate is a great game, but it's bogged down by the RPG elements. Origins is a boring game, but also bogged down by the RPG elements. Freaking Odyssey is too big, but it's also bogged down by the RPG elements. And Valhalla is a fantastic game, but it also has RPG elements. You see what I mean when I say that this shit doesn't make any sense? If I stab a person in the back of their throat and they just, you know, look at me like it's like, oh, ow, you just stabbed me. Okay, time to fight now. 
doesn't make any sense. Please go back to what you did before. That's what made your games great. At this point, it's almost pointless to buy an Assassin's Creed game. I'm gonna just wait for the next two Assassin's Creed games which will have better elements. But that's just me. What are you guys' opinions on the next Assassin's Creed games? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know when you get a chance to. I was on the social media, all that stuff. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! So as I said to you guys, I like to mix these in with the regular videos. So of course, I'm going to have a regularly scheduled video for the next one, as you saw already by the to be continue part. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and night and or weekend or whenever this comes out. You enjoy it. Have a great one and enjoy the rest of your life. What the fuck is that?